What would I like to say to people perhaps 100 years from now? Well, this will include some of my own descendants, I hope, as well as the descendants of all the rest of us. I think you'll be going through a transition. I hope it will not be an excessively difficult transition, but transitions are never easy. I hope you will live in a world in which your educators take care to make you curious about how things connect to each other and affect your lives. To make you want to know how things that happen on the other side of your country, on the other side of the world, connect to influence the way you live and affect whether your lives are positive or negative. I hope that your educators will teach you to think historically, to think long term about the processes that take generations up to centuries to develop and yet affect your lives today. And we're very concerned at this time about the future, many of us are. We're concerned about energy supplies, we're concerned about the state of the environment, we're concerned about the complexity of our societies and whether our societies will continue to be effective in solving problems. Those are all processes that develop beyond the lifetime of an individual. One needs historical knowledge to understand these things. I hope that in the future, humanity will have this expanded scale of thinking. And if you do, you'll be better positioned to understand and solve problems than we are today.